show. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, we got okay, to talk about. Look at them with all the pictures and stuff. Very uh, cute. People are very excited. We got Thank to talk you. about. We got uh, questions to get to. We want to talk about, uh, I guess, uh, the, the season, how it affected you, how it's going to affect your future. But for those of you uh, who missed last night's episode, let's take a look. Canada's next top model is. Megan. You're Canada's next top model. So there you go. That was kind of the moment that changed everything. Walk us through how you were feeling. I mean, you know, what emotions were going you know, through your head, through your heart when that was happening? Honestly, I was completely numb from head to toe, shaking from my insides out, and I just kept flipping back and forth, Lindsay, Megan, Lindsay, Megan, who's it going to be? And when they said my name, my first initial reaction is, where's Ashton? Like, this has to, I have to be <laughs> hugged right now. But uh, after that reaction was over, I was just so overwhelmed with joy. Such an amazing moment, probably, yeah, to experience, right? It was totally awesome. And probably surreal at the same time. Yeah, I still doesn't feel like it happened. <laughs> did you watch the episode last night? I did, yeah. Did Here you? Here in Toronto with the whole, like, production team. Aww. It was awesome. Did you get goosebumps? I teared up a little bit. I had yeah. my family and friends on speakerphone. My family had a huge party back at home for mm -hmm. me, and... Just a roar of cheers and kind of, Aww. you know, swell up a little bit. Yeah. Now, here's uh, the thing about a show, you know, with the kind of fan base that Canada's Next Top Model has is you won a while back, a couple months ago, but you have to keep it secret. How do you go about doing Gosh, that? hard. Oh, my goodness. It, I found out back in end of March, beginning of uh, April, and then I went home and couldn't tell anyone. My mom and dad didn't know. My well, you have, to tell, you have to tell somebody. <laughs> no, it was so hard because me and my mom are so close, and we would go for, like, walks, and she'd be like, come on. I'd be like, I can't. You're just going to have to watch and see. I would never be able to do that. I wouldn't either. I would have cracked. You know? I guess we'll never be Canada's next top model. Probably not, Devin. Well, we're not, yeah, we're not tall enough or cute enough. So, I mean, the, the question is, how has this changed your life? Because, I mean, obviously it has. You've got tons of people who are here to see you, very, very happy. And you've got a, a, a budgeting modeling career now. How is this going to change your life? Um, well, it's completely catapulted me into a whirlwind. Um, you know, my name's out there, my face is out there, and I'm actually doing Elmer Olsen's boot camp to big time tomorrow. And what is that? It's where he brings in... Uh, the biggest and best scouts from all around the world and you know it's basically a cattle call so okay. hopefully I get picked up there and after that who knows my cover girl ad actually comes out in August so <laughs> <laughs> that's like when you get a magazine and you flip it open and there's yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy and uh, I'm shooting the fashion editorial spread mm -hmm. this Saturday and it's gonna come out in the October issue of fashion I believe yeah so excited. Good, We've got an audience thing. question, uh, Monique. Um, okay. Uh, did you find it, uh, did you find more confidence in yourself once you got rid of your braces? Um, most definitely. I was very nervous with my braces on. Not because I had braces and I wasn't embarrassed about them, but it's really awkward to smile and open your mouth when you have a mouth full of metal, so having them off, it made a big difference. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your question. Okay, so I was watching the episode at home last night, and I was watching the part where you're doing, like, the mock-up for the fashion magazine shoot, right? So you were up looking amazing in your yellow, yellow dress, yeah. and there was Lindsay and Nikita, and they were being catty, and I was very upset. That's How did okay. You feel? Were you okay with that when you watched it back? Because obviously yeah. you didn't know what was happening while you were doing the No, I did. I saw, them, I saw them out of the corner of my eye, yeah. and I was like, okay, they're trying to make me nervous. Not going to happen. But, you know, girls will be girls. Yeah. They tried. It didn't work. And so then, have you spoken with them since you left? Yeah, I talked to all the girls, basically. Um, me, Lindsay, and Nikita were actually in town last week doing some press, so it was a really good to catch up with them. Are, are you just saying that, or was it good to get? No, it was actually so good. We didn't get any sleep because we were too busy talking all night, and then we all slept in the same king-size bed. So, were they, really? Yeah, not like Tell that. More. Not like that. <laughs> so, Devin, were, like, they like, really? were they like, congratulations, or like, congratulations? Um, I think it was genuine, I hope, okay. but it was a competition, though. It was a competition. Competition. I mean, everybody, everybody was out there for the same thing, but no animosity. Well, Megan, congratulations. We look forward Thank to you. Thank you so much.